Well, Mark, the games, uh, the season's only two games old, isn't it? So um, is, it, is it too early to, to get too, too concerned with Tuesday's defeat? Yeah, I think it's got to be. Um, I think we knew it was going to be a tough start. It was obviously a, an acclimatation period, like, and you've got to just get in there. But as I say, Saturday was OK. We probably could have got the one end up. And then Tuesday, we started power, we gave two power goals away, and we are always uphill task. But really, I think we got together at half-time, and I think we are a lot better second half. I think maybe if we had a got it, Next one we might have got a second, you know, because they kind of sat, sat back and kind of tried to ride the storm, but it wasn't the be, and you just got to move on, really. When you prepare for Old Trigon, do you look to build on the second half performance, or do you bit of both and you still have to remember the first half as well and learn from that? But of both, really. I think you've got to realise that you can't start the way we did, and as you say, play the way we did second half, and if we do that, then I think it might go okay. Was it frustrating that it was individual mistakes that cost you on Tuesday night? If you can cut them out, then um, things will improve. Yeah, as you say, despite the we didn't play that well, it's two errors really that have cost us. But it's football, really, and it happens week in week out all over the country. So you just gotta get on with it. Good thing about the conference is the games are coming thick and fast. Is that a good thing? You must be looking forward to Saturday and um, get that first win of the season on board. Yeah, I think it's good if you're putting a run together. Really, I think we can get a few results and. Slowly but surely, you're within the end of the month, you've, you're, you're right up there again, you know what I mean? But you've got to be getting results, really. Yeah, what do you expect from, from Altrincham? Um, the thing that stands out is that they're a part time side. Um, yeah. Will that make a difference at all on Saturday? Um, I think, obviously, in the early stage of the game, it won't really. I think, obviously, you've got to give them the respect they deserve, really. We're all in this league and we've got to go there and see what happens, really. But I don't know much about them in terms of the way they play and etc. But I'm sure I'll be filled in before then. But. Yeah. I guess they've got um, a striker in Stephen Gillespie who might feel he's got a point to prove. You'll be you looking to keep him at bay on uh, Saturday. Yeah, well, we all know Gilly and we know what he does and things like that. So, yeah, it'll be, as I say, it's a matter of who you play against. You just go and play your game and hopefully get the result. Yeah, and I guess um, just little changes that we don't notice, like you're travelling on the day, you're not getting your overnights. Well, is that just one of the um, realities of um, life at this level? Probably. Yeah. As you say, we're uh, travelling on the day and... It affects some people, it doesn't affect others, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't and I don't really think too much on that really, but no. it's just the way it is. And what would a win on Saturday do? I suppose um, it's only two games as I said, so it's, it's not as if you're looking to turn your season around or anything no, like that. No, but obviously the, the quicker you get the first one the better and, and you can get a bit more positive and realise obviously four points from nine then, because obviously teams have won the first two so we're already five points behind. So we've got to um, get that one as soon as we can and get that one and run together. Thank you. Mark, was it? I mean, a bit disappointing uh, d d defensively, defence-wise, because I mean that's been one of the strongest points of the team, isn't it? Over the eighteen months, I mean, to concede the goals like you did on Tuesday was, yeah. was, was a bit disappointing, isn't it? Well, it's sport, well, obviously it's two, it's two errors really. Um, I think throughout the the whole game, really, I don't think we could say we were over the place or any of that sort of respect. It's, it's two errors, and mm. to say that people know what's happened, and we just move on, really, and make, try and make sure as a Collective here and individually, it doesn't happen again. Yeah, I mean, there'll always be a bit of a reaction when when you lose games. I mean, what what's the the feeling inside the uh, inside the camp? Is it are you still upbeat about the you know uh, you know put it to one side and just well, obviously on? we're we're free for for the one this league and obviously that comes with the pressure that people expect you to win every game and realistically speaking that's it can happen but it's not going to happen that way. And you've mm. got to take your setbacks and and, and move on really. But within the camp, I think we've obviously got to sit down and go, we didn't perform first half the other night, second half's a bit more positive, but at that stage of the game, the damage was done. Mm. Um, but we've got to be positive for Saturday and try and get the one and put everything else behind us and then go from there. Really, it's, I think if you get too caught up on it, then it's only going to become a negative and yeah. it's not really going to do ourselves yeah. any good. But it's understandable that people will not think too favourably about the result the other night, which is fair enough. Mm. In the two games you've had, I mean, have you noticed any difference? I mean, I'm not sure there is much of a difference between League Two and the Conference. Have you noticed any difference? Well, we've obviously played two teams that have. Uh, Grimsby have been about yeah. the top five in the yeah. last few years, so they're obviously a good side at this level. Barnet have been in football league within the last yeah. few years. Yeah. They're one of the big seasons, so we've played two of the, probably two of the favourites to be top five yeah. contenders, really. So mm. I think in terms of there's not really been much difference in these two games, but yeah. as you say, as the season goes on and. We meet different opposition, then maybe I'll be fit to evaluate it a wee bit more. But yeah. up until now, I think it's been quite similar. similar.